Hey everybody, welcome back, Stonebroke Adventure. This is the final episode of our DIY solar uh, generator build. We got this thing finished up. We're gonna show you how we put this thing to practical use. So one thing I'd like to ask you is to just hit the subscribe button. I'm really trying hard to reach that 10,000 subscriber mark. As soon as I reach that 10,000 subscriber mark, it opens up the world for me on YouTube. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Real quick overview again, if you come in close, we can look in here at all the components. If you see here, we have the lead time, 100 amp hour mini lithium iron phosphate battery. That's what's powering the whole system. Right next to that, we have the Vibor 55 amp converter charger. So we can charge this battery with shore power if we need to, if shore power is available. Right here, we have the shot for the lead time uh battery monitor so it's a shunt monitor 500 amp shunt monitor if you look down here at the screen you can see the parameters right we'll show you that when that's running it shows you your battery capacitor how many watts you're drawing or putting into the battery real nice uh, shunt monitoring system we have our accessory outlets on the front right usb cigarette lighters this is our 12 volt section also have a circuit breaker here to totally disconnect the battery out of the system. If you wanted to, you could leave this converter charger out and put two of these lead time 100 amp hour batteries side by side uh, in parallel to double the capacity of this unit. We might do that down the road depending on what our needs are. Now, if we move over here to this section, this is our solar, uh, our solar charge controller inverter section. This is what's gonna generate 120 volts we have a 120 volt outlets here on the front right and those are being powered by the v4 2500 watt uh inverter inverter pure sine wave inverter that's on the bottom right we have our lead time 30 amp mppt solar charge controller that is what is we use if we want to charge this battery uh, with the solar panel uh, 450 watt uh, max input uh, at 12 volts on this charge controller. It is also a 24 volt charge controller. You have to configure that in the settings, but a really nice heavy duty charge controller, real deep uh, heat sinks on the bottom, just a solid piece of equipment. We have another 250 amp circuit breaker right here. This is our disconnect for our inverter if we need that. We have a push button over here, right? This is our push button. It is our pre-charge circuit for the inverter. What it does is it bypasses this circuit breaker, our disconnect with that push button through a resistor that's actually down on the bottom so we could pre-charge the capacitors in that inverter. Everything is connected together, the lower box, the upper box, with some Anderson connectors. And then, of course, we have our inline breakers from the solar panel, right? We have a 30-amp inline breaker from our solar panel SAE connector, right? And we have a 40-amp inline breaker that connects to the battery to the solar charge controller. Always give the solar charge controller uh, energy from the battery before you hook up the solar panel, really important. Also, we're using the lead time bus bars in this build. Lead time, all the products you see in here from lead time, they sent to us uh, to do this build. We really appreciate that. Also, Vibor sent us the inverter and the converter charger. So let's go ahead and put this thing together, show you how it operates. The 12 volt section can actually operate independently Right, as long as that battery's charged, you have 12 volt power here. So let's go ahead and make sure our circuit breaker, right, we have power, so our circuit breaker is closed. All right, let's go ahead and put our solar inverter section on top, right here. Right. We have the circuit breaker open, all of our circuit breakers are open. We're going to tie this in together with our Anderson connector. Real simple setup. So we're going to pre-charge our inverter. All right, hold that 
You hear that? So the inverter is pre-charged. We're gonna close the circuit breaker. So our inverter is on. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and power on the solar charge controller with our 12 volt. If you come in here, you can see that the charge controller is powered on. All right, the charge controller is powered on. Battery, right? We don't have the solar hooked up yet. But at this point, we can go ahead and hook up our solar. So we have our solar connector, our SAE connector right here, right? With MC4 connectors on the end. That's gonna power, that's gonna send power to the charge controller. So we're gonna go ahead and plug those in. That solar panel, right? We have our solar panel in place. Solar panel's plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn the breaker on on the solar panel. And we're receiving energy from the solar panel right now. What's nice about this lead time solar charge controller, there's actually an app that you can see all the parameters real time, how much power uh, it's pulling from the sun, how much power it's putting into the battery. A lot of different parameters that you can check. If you look over here into the right side of the screen, you can see those parameters. That's kind of what the interface looks like on the app. So we're all set up, everything's set up. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and hook this up to a refrigerator. We've got an air conditioner in our little camper. We got a TV in our camper. Let's turn everything on and uh, show you how this is gonna be used in a practical application. So we have the cord here, 12 volt outlet, right? We're gonna, we're gonna plug that refrigerator in. We got the refrigerator freezer set up. We got actually room for another refrigerator, USB outlets for charging all your little accessories, right? Things set up really nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug in shore power to our camper. We have a TV in here and we have a uh, little window shaker or air conditioner that runs this thing, keeps it real cool. So let's go ahead and plug our 120 volt right there. There you go. Now we're gonna turn everything on. All right, we got everything hooked up. Come around here, you can tell we got the air conditioner running off of this. Nothing else is plugged into this unit. You can hear that, that thing's running on high cool, right? We have the refrigerator running. We have inside, you can see here, we have our TV on. Right. So yeah, this little uh, solar generator setup, definitely working. You can see here all the parameters on this lead time battery monitor, right? It tells our watts, we're actually, Negative uh, 34.2 amps is what we're drawing with all of our equipment, right? We have two hours and 23 minutes of runtime. And remember, that's runtime with the compressor on the AC running. So that compressor isn't gonna run all the time. As soon as the unit cools down, that compressor is gonna shut off. It's just gonna be a fan, right? It tells us our percentage, how many amp hours are left in the battery. So that lead time battery monitor I mean, very sensitive piece of equipment with that shine. So this DIY build, great project. We really enjoyed working on it. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, share, leave comments down below, ask any questions. I always get back uh, to people who leave comments in the comment section down below. All the pieces and parts of this are in the description down below with affiliate links. I do earn a little bit from those affiliate links. That really helps support the channel. So, from Stonebroke Adventure until our next project. Bloop.